Which way to go? What's this? Did you get... <laughs> Extra. Party of one. <laughs> this is their For the love of God! I'm in so much trouble. going to be done I would say in a couple different like parts because not everything is here yet um, this is the stuff that came today there's a couple things coming on Wednesday and then um, I think a couple things coming on Friday but I at least wanted to get this filmed because some of the stuff I am going to use at the show this weekend so in the event something does come this weekend or next week I at least wanted to be able to use this stuff because I can't wait. Uh, let's get into it. Um, if you like this video, if you like any of my videos, please make sure to like and subscribe. Um, I will be doing more tech hauls if my husband, husband doesn't kill me after this one. But anyway, enough yapping. Let's get into it. Hey, come here. Do you want to get in here? Do you want to help mommy open all this? <laughs> He's like, get all this stuff out of here. <laughs> Okay, from Dover, and I believe this was the only thing from that order that got delivered. I have a couple more things coming, because again, I had a gift card. Oh my God, oh, I had a gift card, so of course I've got a use of gift cards. Oh, perfect, okay. So I already have this in the gray version. And I absolutely, I'm obsessed with it. I love it. This is the Lemieux vest and this is in Mulberry. Um, I wear a small. Um, this one here is, yeah, it's a Mulberry color. It's in a small. I have the gray one. I absolutely, absolutely love this vest. It's like, it's got the pockets. And if you want, so say you want something a little more fitted, I would get your regular size. If you want to layer it, then I would get a um, size up. But I like my stuff to be a little bit more fitted. I don't like it being like bulky and hanging around, but it's so cute. I love this vest. Let's do this one. Actually, I think this is one of the things that matches. I am very happy though to be honest, that these companies sent all of these in this instead of boxes. Oh, sweet. Okay. So this actually wasn't supposed to be in stock until March, but I guess they had it. So this is a dressage saddle cover by Lemieux. It's just black. It's got a gray fleece lining. I got a new dressage saddle, which I will do a video on. Um, it has the <laughs> it has the straps for the billets, which most most of them do not. And it's got this to where you can put your dressage girth over and then put it in here so that way you don't lose it or it doesn't fall off while you're transporting your saddle. I think this was probably they're like 50 bucks. And I got it on this website, um, Dressage Deluxe. It is, I think, a UK website, but 
the shipping wasn't too bad. Like it made, it definitely made up for like the price. Cause I think this was like, ended up being like 16 bucks, um, which is really cheap for this nice of a saddle cover. And then it's got like adjustable straps if you need to make it tighter. But yeah, so I'm really excited about that. Okay, so the last thing from, woo, from Dressage Deluxe is, The Lemieux Loire dressage pad in Mulberry. And this is in the size large. It is, oh my God, it's so really pretty. And it's got the memory foam here for the withers, which is really nice because my, um, my dressage saddle is custom fit to 10, so these will be really nice to kind of keep it in place and these normally run like if you get them directly from lemieux or if you get them from like a uk website usually they're like 70 or 80 bucks if you get them on dover they're like 97 dollars. this undersage performance i found the most amazing steal it was like 43 bucks i am a bargain shopper bargain shopper so PSF Sweden used to send them in, and this is a bridal if you can't tell. So they used to send them in these gorgeous boxes and then now they've switched to, which is sustainability, eco-friendly, you know, it, it probably costs a lot of money to send them in those boxes. So I totally understand. But the bridal that I got, oh, it's all strapped in here. And I actually don't use these bridal bags. I typically throw them away. Oh, so bad. Um, but anyway, this is the PSF Sweden Pioneer Bridal. I got this for Theo. And I am just obsessed with PSF Sweden bridles. It's got the anatomical crown, um, which if you don't know or you haven't followed me for a long time, 10 had a pole injury. So I always use a crown piece that's like thick like this because it helps distribute the the pressure and the weight of the bridle um so that way it doesn't put too much pressure on his pole so that is the reason why i love their bridles the under the jaw um the cavison piece here is padded and then it is very padded right here under the nose band and these I really like because you can adjust the height to where you can make it like a drop nose band or you can make it a regular nose band. There's so, there's so much adjustability to this bridle, which is why I really wanted this for Theo. Very happy with this. I did get a size three, even though he is a cob, I did notice that like his, his pole and his head and his forehead are um, a horse size. So I got a full, just regular size three instead of doing, um, like piecing it together because I already have size two cheek pieces, which is a cob size, size three is a horse size. So I already have size two cheek pieces um, for a different bridle. And I wanted everything else to be the horse size. So yeah, that is that bridle. All right. Now to the good stuff. Now to the really good stuff. Okay, so again, this is from the company Halter Ego. So excited. <laughs> so excited, so excited. Okay, so I will start with these first. So these are the Equestrian Stockholm. Um, this is all gonna be Equestrian Stockholm. So this, uh, this is where I order all of my Equestrian Stockholm stuff. Um, these are the new, this is, yeah, this is the new color that just came out. Um, it's called Steel Blue. It is kind of similar to the Ice Blue, but these are a little bit more of like a, I don't even know how to describe it. It's not like a baby blue, but it's like a, it's like a steel blue. <laughs> it's like a, a grayish undertone. So I think this color would work so well on so many different horses, but I got the polo wraps 
And then, actually, I thought those were supposed to be. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, um, and then I got the. Uh oh, we may have a the steel blue um, equestrian stock home bonnet. I think unless they put it. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, yep. Yep, that's what happened. Okay. These are supposed to be ice blue. So not steel blue. So I have the ice blue dressage pad. So I was getting the ice blue bonnet and ice blue polo wraps to match that. And they accidentally sent me the wrong one. So I'm just going to email them and say, Hey, I got the steel blue instead. Let me know what you want to do. They'll probably send me something to return them. Um, so anyway, I'm going to keep this in the packaging just because I did actually order the steel blue because I ordered the steel blue. I ordered the, oh, so pretty. The, um, steel blue jump cut in the full size. It is, um, oh my God, it's so pretty. I will say I haven't wanted to, but I think I'm going to cut off all of these on my equestrian Stockholm pads because I don't use them and they just get in the way. So anyway, um, that's beside the point. I do like that this is Velcro here because if you forget to put it through the loop or whatever, you can just do it and then put your girth through so you don't have to take your girth off and then put it through and retighten it. So this is the steel blue and the pretty bonnet to match. It's got, um, I would say it's, it's white, but it's like a silvery white. And then this is a um, steel gray color. <laughs> so this is super pretty. Um, this is gonna look great on both of my bay horses. Yes. Okay. Next is yet another saddle pad. And this is a the dressage cut of the um, equestri uh, equestrian stock home, but it's the grenadine color. I have this in the jump cut and I also have the matching bonnet. So I saw that they had this one and red looks amazing on 10 and it will look amazing on Theo too. But since 10 is more focused on dressage, I really wanted to get this color in the dressage cut. So that is what I did. Got it in the full. Um, this is navy and let's see, navy trim, navy rope and silver trim. So this is the grenadine color. Oh, so beautiful. Next, I'll do this one next. So this, oh, oh my gosh. This was the one I was so excited for and I was very, very hesitant on buying it because I already have the jade pad from PSO Sweden and it looks very similar, but now that I have it out, this color is, I'm, I'm so happy I purchased this. So this is their dis <laughs> this is the dressage cut of the equestrian Stockholm Amazonite, I think is what they call it. And this is like a beige and then beige trim and then a white piping. This is gorgeous. <laughs> like, this is so pretty. I'm obsessed with this. Like, absolutely obsessed with this pad. I cannot wait to use it. I'm going to a schooling show this weekend, and I think I want to use this in the schooling show. Even though I feel like I should do white and like actually like be professional, but like this is so pretty. Who wants to be professional? No, no, no. I have to wear white. Anyway, but ah, oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I love it. I cannot wait to use this. I'm gonna have to go and take my camera out and get some professional pictures with my pretty pants. Okay, moving along. 
So the next thing to go with that pad is the matching bonnet. I will say, and I will, I will reiterate this in my, I'm just going to say it now. I lean towards equestrian Stockholm because I lean towards them. Why? You lost my train of thought. Oh, because their bonnets actually match their pad. It's like the full color. PS of Sweden used to do that, but now everything's brown and only the piping matches the color of the pad. I don't like that. I don't like to be boring. I like to be out there and extra and flamboyant. I just crazy. So anyway, that is why I really enjoy Equestrian Stockholm because they make their whole bonnet the color of the pad. Anyway, moving along. The next item that is not for the horse, the one item for me, even though this is a kind of for me, but like they're kind of not, they're for the horse, is, oh, it's so pretty. Oh my God, this is so pretty. Riley, quit eating the cat food, go eat your food. Sorry. This is a long sleeve turtleneck sweater and it's so lightweight. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be so nice to ride in, like just like in the fall, um, or like indoor riding in the winter time. So this matches really nicely. This is a little bit more green here, but the color matches it absolutely perfect. Obviously I'm being matchy matchy and like absolutely ridiculous, but 20% off and it's got equestrian Stockholm here on the sleeve and the equestrian stockholm logo right there i got a small looks like it's gonna fit me it is stretchy um i probably would wear a tank top under it just because it does it is very thin it looked a lot like thicker like material online but this is pretty thin so you'll be able to see your bra and your tatas right through it so definitely want to wear a tank top under the ass Okay, next. Let me actually, yeah, I'm gonna do this one first because there's one more Amazonite item. Is that cray? There's two more. Woo! I'm bad. I'm a bad, bad girl. I'm a bad girl, Paisley. Okay. Mm. 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 I had had to get the jump cut because I think this this is like my favorite color. I love teal. This is I mean it's green, but like it's teal. But it's this it's a grill masonite. Anyway, jump cut full size. Beautiful. To finish off the Amazonite, <laughs> obviously, because if you're not going to get the matching shirt, the bonnet, the dressage pad, the jump cut, and the polo wraps, I don't want it. Just kidding, I still want it, bro. Everything, but had to finish the set. This will be a complete set. Jump cut, bonnet, dressage pad, jump pad, polo wraps. And these are beautiful. They have the equestrian Stockholm metal logo here, the beige, the beige and the white. And, and I'm gonna sound crazy, like totally crazy when I say this, but an animal, the cat's throwing up now. Wonderful. I had an animal communicator talk to Ken and he really likes green. Like hunter green, dark green. So that's why I went a little all out on the green. 
So that completes that. Wonderful. So these, I got to also complete a set. This is the Sapphire Polo Wraps. I have the Sapphire Jump Pad, Dressage Pad. Zoe, quit. I have the Sapphire Jump Pad, Dressage Pad, and Bonnet. So the Polo Wraps just to match the set. So I got those. Fun story, I actually bought these on Centerline Style. I ordered the Sapphire, they were on sale. They sent me the Moroccan blue ones. Okay, no big deal. I actually do have the Moroccan blue pad, but I had it in a jump pad and I don't use polo wraps to jump in. I only use them for dressage. So it was kind of pointless to have them because I didn't have the dressage pad, I had the jump pad. So I emailed them and was like, hey, you guys sent me the wrong color. Can you send me a shipping label to send these? Can you send me a shipping label so I can send these back? No response. A month later, I email him. Yo, still haven't sent me a shipping label or sent out the correct ones that I bought. Can you send those back? Nothing. I think I emailed them three times. Nothing. And I have yet to get a refund. I have yet to get a shipping label. And I have yet to get the correct polo wraps. So I guess I'm just going to keep them. And then I bought these because they still had them and I wanted to complete the set. So that is the tea on that. All right, we're, we're winding down here. So this, I bought for this weekend, which is our first ever dressage show. It's a schooling show, but you know. <laughs> I got just a plain competition white dressage pad. So this has silver piping. They have one with gold piping and black piping. I got some silver bling to go with my silver bling. I got white dressage gloves, which I'll show you in a little bit. Um, oh yeah, I have a whole nother box. Oh my God. Ugh. Anyway, um, I, I am so bad at this. Bless. Cat, really? Could you not? Can't you see I'm busy? So anywho, I got this because I've got a blingy brow band that's gray, silver, and like the clear white crystal. Um, my stock tie, show you in a minute, and my gloves. <laughs> so that's that. Needed more of those. Um, okay, so this, with the exception of the Amazonite, I am pumped, 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 pumped for it. And like the amount I spent versus how much these actually cost is sickening because I got so much freaking store credit. Like, I, I just... I got the, what is this? The Merlot Crystal Jump Pad. It's got crystal trim here. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. So beautiful. This is navy, and then it's got navy rope. And it's like iridescent almost. Like these are very, so this is very satiny. This isn't as soft, I'm gonna be honest, it's not as soft but it's iridescent. This is gonna look so good on Theo in the jumper ring. I'm obsessed. And the bonnet has crystals too. I am obsessed. It's so beautiful. So, Paisley, come here. What's this? Did you do it? As you can see, we have some guilty dogs here. I bought, I stocked up 
awesome treats. I bought two bags of these. The, these are my favorites. They're really good, like to where you can get multiple of them um, for like clicker training or target training or stuff like that. So, or stretches, like carrot stretches. I bought two bags of these because I go through them really, really quick. And these are the Buckeye Nutrition Reasons um, Joint Support Treats with Glucosamine, Chondrodin, and MSM. So these. Um, and you can feed up to two handfuls a day per horse. So these I go through really, really quickly. Um, I had never tried these. And as we can see, someone got into them. I don't think they really ate many of them, truthfully, because they probably tasted like crap because they're for horses and not dogs or cats. The cat's probably the one that got into it first. Um, but these are the carrot ones. Um, they're all natural, no sugar, and lots of protein. You can feed up to a half a pound a day per horse, that's a lot. So I got those to try, which I wasn't planning on trying that soon, but now that they're open, whatever. So then I also got these ones, and they are the apple snaps. So same, you can feed up to a half pound per day per horse. So next thing I got off Amazon, I think these were maybe 15 bucks. Um, 10 is scared of everything. So I actually had bought these to, which I forgot to take them to the barn this weekend, which it didn't really matter because he lost his back shoes anyway. Great weekend. Um, but I got dressage cones. We have dressage letters up on the walls but I realized he had never been to a dressage show before and they have that white fencing or whatever and then they have these, like, they don't have cones but they've got numbers. So I figured these would be best to try and desensitize him with because I can throw them at him. <laughs> Until he's like, oh, that's not scary anymore. I don't say like throw them and hit him with them, but throw them around him, you know? So I got those. Um, I'm gonna take these to the barn on Thursday when I go out. Um, my husband is in Canada until late Wednesday night, so I will not be able to go out to the barn until Thursday, which is great because I have to leave for a show Friday, so that's neither here nor there. Um, next thing I got, this is from Dover. Um, just a sponge. Just a little spongy sponge. I don't know what happened to mine. It was like a couple dollars, I think, um, to bathe at the show. And then next thing I got was a um, white show shirt. It is a dressage shirt. And this, um, what brand is this? This is Horseware Ireland. I think I got a small. Yeah, small. And it's got um, lace here on the back. Whenever I was looking up dressage shirts, because I've never done dressage before, they were all lace. So I was like, I guess that's a thing. Um, it's really thick, really, really nice. I don't think I've had anything from Horsewear before. I usually get the Tailored Sportsman, the Castell Denmark, or just the Smart Packer Dover ones. So this actually looks really, really nice. Really nice. So I'm excited to wear that. Um, this I got off Etsy. These are white dressage gloves. Um, they obviously have rhinestones on them because <laughs> extra party of one. <laughs> um, and I gotta find my sock tie. <gasps> Hold on. Okay. This I also got off Etsy. <gasps> How gorgeous. So we obviously have this shirt, this sock tie. The gloves. And this is why I got the silver. <laughs> so that way, the silver and the gray, and then you'll see my brow band. These gloves up against all this white, they don't look that white, huh? But these are actually really grippy, which is nice. I think they were like 20 bucks. Stock tie, maybe 20 bucks, which I didn't have. Um, 
So yeah, that is basically the outfit that we're gonna wear in the show ring. And okay, next. I don't even have to explain this one. It was on sale. <laughs> so I got the dressage Lemieux, or Lemieux dressage cut in sorbet. I have the jump cut and the um, bonnet. So I saw this on sale and I was like, yo, yes, hoes. I should do that. And while we're at it, we might as well get the pole wraps to go with it. So now I have the whole set. But downside, pole wraps, the only ones I could find were smalls. So I'm kind of sad because I don't think these are going to work now that I'm looking at them. I mean, maybe if I only wrap it around like once and I'm very liberal with those wraps. Let's see if I can find them elsewhere. But Joe's is on sale too. I got these both at Dover. So these may not work because I feel like they're probably for a pony. And Ten's legs are not pony. They're not even thin like normal thoroughbred legs. So um, yeah, it's probably not going to work for me. Um, so I'll probably have to return those. But if anybody has the large ones and they want the small, let me know. Um, okay. So last thing from Dover I got was this dressage girth and this is a ovation dressage girth and the reason why I chose this one was because it was contoured. Um, this is a 26 and this is 10's normal size. It's like gel and like memory foam here. Um, I have another, I think I have a collegiate one. Um, and the only thing that I don't like about it is that it's a little bit thicker material than this. It's not as, it's not as compressing, I guess. But when like it, for the love of God, um, it gets hard when it gets built up with sweat, so you have to wash it a lot to keep it like soft and not like stiff, if that makes sense. So I think this was like 25 bucks. Got that one. I'm sure one day I'll get a nicer, more expensive one. Um, another thing from Amazon I got was wax um, yarn. This is to braid with. So um, I got this, right? <laughs> and okay, these I bought a while ago. This was like probably two months ago that I got these, but I wanted to throw them in here just. So this is a Lemieux white dressage cut pad and the leather down here is white. I got this to use at schooling shows, even though I got the equestrian Stockholm one, but now it has two. Anyway, yep, simple. Um, this I got on sale from Lemieux. Um, I think it was like 23 bucks. I shop for deals. I don't buy anything full price. I just, I don't. Why buy things full price? So anyway, got that on sale. This one, I already used, it's dirty, but I got this in the same um, shipment with that. Um, this is the Lemieux Diamante, and this is the Euro Jump Cut, and then it's got the leather. I think this one was, again, like maybe 20 or 30 bucks on sale when they had their Boxing Day sale. Um, and I used this at the last show that we had. It looked really nice in the show ring really freaking dirty. I don't really know how to wash it with the little diamond things here, but we'll see. So I just wanted to throw that one in there. And the same with this. Um, I think this one was like 16 bucks. This is the camel color and the cross country cut. Oh my God, it's so dirty. It's in my pants dirty. Um, schooling pad. Yep. Okay. 
So these I actually bought used and I also got the lavender one, but I can't find it. Um, there's a girl on Facebook that who knows I'm bad. Knows I'm bad about buying stuff. So she sends me, um, she says, hey, I'm going through my stock. Do you want to see? And I'm like, no, you, no. So this is the ice blue um, from Equestrian Stock Home. And let me pull out this steel blue. So if you can see the difference in the two colors, um, much darker. This is more of like a light baby blue, like an ice blue. And this is definitely a darker blue. So anywho. I got this in the dressage cut, got it used, cheap, already been using it. And this does have like a pearl, whatever. So this I also bought used, but still has the tag on it. So brand new. Um, this is the pink pearl. I don't like pink. I'm just going to be honest. I don't like pink. So I don't even know if I'm going to keep this. I may end up selling it because I don't like pink, but it was brand new. I got all three of those pads. I got the lavender, this one, and the ice blue for like, it was like 120 bucks. And this was like probably four months ago. This was a long time ago. This was back before winter even hit. girl once the other stuff comes it'll be like now okay we're back with part two these are the last couple pieces to this haul and then i will have another one probably not next week but the week after um with some more stuff <laughs> and let's see here so this was from halter ego Oh, and they put a little card in here. How cute. Cute little, little card. That's why I love shopping with them. They're so, so, so sweet. So, okay. The first thing I'm gonna pull out, oh my God, this is so pretty. This is um, part of the Equestrian Stockholm Midnight White Edge. So it is, um, like a very dark, dark blue navy color. It's so freaking oh my god. Look at it. It's so beautiful. And to go with that, I got because you know, if my horses could talk. Which they can, trust me. Um Theo would be telling me he, he doesn't want to be in these bright flamboyant colors. So I ended up getting the Equestrian Stockholm Midnight Jump Pad. I kind of want to keep this one for shows just because it's so pretty and the white on the outside, I just like the trim. I don't want it to get dirty. So that is what this set looks like. It's got white trim, um, navy rope, and sorry if you can hear chomping and walking around. I fed the animals and decided to film right now, which is... Anywho, um, silver rope, navy rope, and white trim. So that is the last thing I got from, um, like saddle pad wise from Halter Ego. And, oh my God, it's so pretty. Um, I got this because I really don't have like cute riding jackets. I mean, I guess I do, but I don't know. But I got this jacket in a small in navy. It is the midnight blue fleece jacket. Um, I wanted it to be fitted so that way I could just wear like a tank top underneath it and then in the fall time or whatever, or even a short sleeve top. But I wanted to make sure that it was fitted and it matches with this. So I like this material. Um, this part here is fleece, and then this part is like, um, like, 
like the pants that people put over like their workout clothes like that material yeah that material but it's really pretty it's got their uh equestrian stock home logo on the arm here um but yeah it's it's very um plain but also sophisticated so i thought that would be really pretty for shows to have him in the jump pad and that and then you know before i go in the ring if it's cold i can take my jacket off or whatever so that is that um, the next purchase I made was from Writing Warehouse, and what started all this was the fact that I needed to get a new halter for Ken. It broke in the pasture, they were playing too hard, and it literally just completely, like, the, the bottom piece, or the nose, the top of the nose piece, completely just got ripped off, so. Anywho, I got him, this is just for... Um, being out in the paddock um, because they do go out in their halters. I got this from Lemieux. It is the Lemieux Capella head collar. It is in a size cob because he got a teeny teeny tiny head and it does have the anatomical crown so that way even while he's in the pasture his pole is protected because he has had a pole injury in the past. So with brown leather, it is in the color moss. It's actually really nice quality. Like this could be a really nice show halter and I'm kind of like second guessing my decision, but he also, he already has a, um, a CWD show halter. So this will be his paddock halter. I just will have to do a better job of keeping it clean. He also ripped his nameplate off his old one. So I'll just put that on this one, but this is what it looks like moss it's got brown leather gold hardware and he told the animal communicator he likes green so i got green <laughs> even though i made his color royal blue and i was his racing color if the man wants freaking green the man gets green that's all i'm saying okay so the last two items that are going to complete and wrap up this haul i am so excited for like i cannot wait i'm so excited so the first thing is, well, it's kind of a set, obviously. So it is the Lemieux, 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 Lemieux Loire set in Peacock. And ah, I got the dressage pad. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's so pretty. It's gonna look so good. This, if I pictured like myself as a color, this would be the color, but glittery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's got the real thick um, memory foam on this one and leather down here and it matches. So I'm so freaking excited to put this on 10 because this color is just gonna look so fabulous on him like it's gonna look oh, amazing and if you have not felt seen touched looked had the pleasure of being in the presence of a Lemieux Loire pad trust me you gonna want one it's your ego's website and just just oh my god that wraps up my dirty, 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 horribly bad decisions. Yeah, I did some real bad things. I did some real bad things. But they're so pretty things. Anywho, this is all I can do right now with these saddle pads because they're so pretty. So I hope you really liked this tack haul and I didn't annoy you too much. If you liked it, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll hit the notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I post new videos. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for tuning in to this long, massive, obscenely excessive tack haul. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Call your ego's website and just...
just oh my god oh hi paisley this is paisley she's my little pup you my little pup now are you my little pup yeah, do you want to put this on? Oh, you get to try it out now. Look at you. 